Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a small tutorial on 3D modeling of furniture in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So I am creating this tutorial on viewers request. So let's go into file, view image file. So let's just open up a reference over here. So I'll just open up a reference. So let's go into this. So we'll be modeling this furniture. Let's take a plane over here. Let's create a box. So I'll just create a box over here like this. So after you create a box, I'll slightly just scale it if required. Convert to editable poly. Now I'll go into this and if you want, I can just select this polygons. Let's select this polygons over here. And let's give a bit of inset a bit. Let's click OK. Select this edges. Let's give one connect. Slightly just push this down. Select the edges. Again go into this. Select this edges. And let's give connect over here. So this is basically for beginners. I'll slightly select this. And I'll just push it over here. Again select this. select this edges let's again give two connects over here click ok all right <coughs> now again select the edges and let's give two connects over here and let's click OK. Select the polygons. <coughs> and let's slightly just extrude it inside. So I can slightly just push this till here. Select the vertices. Shuffle it a bit inside. Over here in this way. Now, I can just go over here, I can take a line tool, go into this and I'll just create a support over here. So go into rendering, enable in viewport, rectangular, slightly. Shuffle this. All right. <coughs> so take a box again. Create a box. Create a shape. So convert to editable poly. So let's put one edge over here. Slightly just push this out. Put one swift loop.
all right now select this again put one loop over here so we can use this select this slightly extrude it a bit inside click ok select the edges let's give connect so go into the vertices slightly shuffle it a bit down so you can just make the surface in this way so select the polygons and slightly just extrude it out in this way let's just push it in this way all right shuffle it a bit out in this way all right so select this convert to editable poly again take a box just create a box i'll just activate the auto grid So select this, slightly just push this up, so select the polygons and slightly give a bit of inset and let's extrude it a bit down, let's click ok and and isolate this all and just push it down all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so on viewers request i'm i have created this tutorial so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so thanks for watching this tutorial